years. You know, we've been waiting to ask the dynasty question, but you got to ask it now. I want to look at some other notable dynasties in NBA history. I, I mean, are you ready to call them a dynasty? Lakers, Bulls, Lakers, Celtics, Lakers. And, and look, I know what y'all are going to say. You're going to oh, okay. say, how many rings? Five, six, how many five, rings? 11, five. How many rings? Is it about, Is when we talk about dynasty, I guess, it's a, is it about what you're putting together? These guys have won more games in three seasons than I think any other team in NBA history. Right, but you're showing titles right here. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's the, the thing. Line. That's it. That's, uh, uh, yeah. For, for me, <laughs> He's yeah. like, yep, yep, that's it. For <laughs> me, I'd say they're a dynasty because I think they're going to win more. Mm -hmm. But if you told me it ended today, yeah, I don't, I don't, it's, it's a nice three year run, but dynasty has some longevity to it. You exactly. got to have right. that's all, that's, a, a that's long all we're looking time. for. I would also say the Spurs should be on that list as well. Yeah, I Just guess for right. how long right. they've been doing it and how right. long. And so, two rings in three years. That's significant. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. How many do you need to get to dynasty? Five? What do you guys think? I mean, I mean, you, you, well, you got to be in charge. <laughs> you got to be in charge of the league for right. for a while. Okay. You know, for for quite some time. Um, for me, I would say I go off of a dynasty. How many championships or or uh, wins that that team got in like a ten year span? Right. Okay. You know, because it's always the changing of the guards in any league. Right. Every ten years. So. Right. If, if now, if they win, let's say another. Three or four over the next maybe. Man, it's tough wow. crowd around here. No, I mean, but <laughs> that's, that's that, <laughs> how, how you look because at that dynasty. That's what you said. You said dynasty. No. We, right. we, it's safe <laughs> to say San Antonio. Hey, they, they're sending you subliminals <laughs> right here. <laughs> Vince, if you, if you don't want your producer all up in the video, dancing, <laughs> come to death row. That's what they say right now. <laughs> <laughs> they got pin that's downs funny. for you, that's, Vince. Yep. Man. Yeah, that, that backdoor lob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you guys yeah, think at least two of those a game? <laughs> do you guys think that in, in Kevin Durant's post game press conference, the fact that he mentioned like three times, it's amazing how everyone just supports you here. They hold each other up. It's amazing how your teammates do that. He talked about uh, Draymond taking him out to dinner the night after he had a bad game, and sort of oh, I couldn't believe people do that. It's do you feel that that was just him being exuberant about culture. Golden State, mm -hmm. or do you think that that was any reference it's, to it's, Oklahoma it's City? It, it's the culture. But do you think um, that was a reference to what he came um, from, or what it, he it came to? It could have been. It, I'm I'm not in his head. It could have been but okay. you definitely feel better and play better when you're surrounded by that family atmosphere with guys you know guys all hang out then say if they're all in town mm -hmm. okay well I might have a fight on this weekend you know Vince might right. he might yeah, do pop barbecues you know and it goes on and on that's how you develop that closeness that togetherness that that culture your team is it's of all the teams I've covered like for a season or postseason your team had it the most I, I've never seen a tighter it. group than you guys it was yeah. unbelievable you, you can know, see it all the time Rachel these two gentlemen went to the University of North Carolina, and one of the things I've always admired is that family. I didn't family. know that. They've never mentioned it. Yeah. No, but the <laughs> idea that guys that never played with one another right. decades apart, but they all get to be together in the summertime, and they all have this thing. And the reason why y'all have that is because of Coach Smith. Coach right. Smith mm -hmm. instilled yes. that. Yes. In Golden State, this is Steve Kerr's doing, this idea that we're all a family, and we all – because I know it. I've been a part of his organization. I know what he's like. Mm -hmm. and, the, and making sure that people care about one another – as human beings before just mm -hmm. employees or basketball players, that's, that's all part of him. He brought that with him, and that's why they're able to have that. So when Kevin Durant says that, we can read into, is he taking shots? No, he's not. He's just telling you how it is. How it is, yep. And that it's remarkable yep. that it is different. For the right. record, I was going to bring up that Carolina thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> For the record. Okay. Oh, 